Thank you, John. Good evening. I'm very pleased to welcome all of you to this really magnificent theater to join us in kicking off our Black History Month celebrations and to experience a movie which I think is fair to say has already become somewhat of a cultural high watermark in the United States. It's an extraordinary film. It brings together the combined talents of one of the world's best directors, Steven Spielberg, the world-renowned Anglo-Irish actor Daniel Day-Lewis, the Pulitzer Prize-winning biographer Doris Kearns Goodwin, and a fabulous supporting cast. So uh, for the next two and a half hours, they will bring history to us on this screen behind me. They will allow us to immerse ourselves in the life of our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, during the, really the final months of his life and the months leading up to his assassination in 1865. We'll witness how he tackled the devastating Civil War, how he fought to obtain passage through Congress of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution which abolished slavery formally in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you tonight Myself, a great-grandson of slaves, and I'm here today because Lincoln did what he did. Thank you for coming this evening to share and honoring an important chapter in our American history. I hope you enjoy the film. Thank you, Ambassador Kennard, and now your other co-host for the evening, Ambassador Howard Gutman. John, thanks so much. Good evening. Uh, along with my dear friend and, and colleague, Ambassador William Kennard, it truly is an honor to welcome you to the preview of the movie Lincoln. Could there be a day that better represents America than a day in honor of Black History Month? That is also the day after Martin Luther King Day. That is also the day after the first black president was inaugurated for the second time as president of the United States. That is also International Holocaust Remembrance Day. A day when a black United States ambassador, the great grandson of a slave, and a Jewish United States ambassador, the son of a Holocaust survivor who entered America as an illegal immigrant, stand together on a stage in Brussels, in the heart of Europe, proudly representing their country and introducing a film about Abraham Lincoln. I asked myself, could this, could tonight, could tonight be that dream? We all know that Martin Luther King had a dream. He had that dream. But I suppose that Abraham Lincoln had that same dream at Gettysburg. And of course, whether it was in a plantation field or a plantation house, as she considered what life would be like if she was considered a person and not property, Bill's great-grandmother had that dream. And I know for damn sure that as he hid in the woods of Poland for 27 months, digging out graves at night for a safe place to sleep, 
as he endured three Polish winters outside, unable to make a fire, knowing that it would cause his detection and death. I know too my father had that dream. So I said, could tonight be that dream? How could it not be? Enjoy the film, enjoy the evening, enjoy the dream. All the best.